Well, three people are dead after a house fire in northern Minnesota. They include a married couple and a child. Mary McGuire is live in the newsroom for us this morning with more on the tragic story and how the community is now helping out. Good morning, Mary. Good morning to you, Kim. Well, this is such a sad story, especially when you think about the fact that a child lost their life in this fire. This happened just hours after the Christmas holiday had ended, and when fire crews arrived on scene, they found four people trapped inside a home. Now, here's a look at what things looked like when that fire was under control yesterday morning. When firefighters arrived, they found one child safely outside, but quickly learned four more people, two adults and two children, were still inside of that house. Rescue crews were able to get them all out, but none of the four had a pulse or were breathing. Hibbing's fire chief says the first priority for first responders when they arrived on scene was saving lives rather than fighting that fire. Tasked with uh, the opportunity to either put a fire out or rescue victims. We don't have enough resources on the initial first few minutes of a fire to do that. The battalion chief on duty made the decision to go into rescue mode, which is obviously the appropriate decision. Um, so that causes, you know, our, our, our general firefighting efforts to take a little bit longer. Now, the two adults later identified by friends as Stephen and Patricia Gillitzer died outside the home shortly after they were rescued. According to the Duluth News Tribune, Stephen was a retired Hibbing firefighter himself. One of the two children who was rescued later died at the hospital. You can see here this is a GoFundMe page that was set up for that child who was identified on that page as nine year old Jacob Gillitzer. Now, as for that second child who was rescued from that home, they were taken to HCMC and at last check they were in critical condition. But the Fire chief there in Hibbing Kim really wants to use this as a reminder to folks to make sure that their smoke detectors have batteries in them, that they are working correctly, and that they look around their homes to make sure that there aren't any hazards that could spark or, uh, you know, make a fire grow. Yeah, you just think about, you know, a retired firefighter, uh, you know, had this happened to him, it could happen to any of us. Mary, as for those firefighters who were fighting the fire, the conditions must have been really difficult for them given how cold it is. That's right. We know how cold it is just walking outside, but imagine fighting a fire, carrying all that gear. The fire chief said that, that uh, temperatures when they were fighting that fire were 20 below zero. That caused the pipes uh, that they were using to spray that water on the home to freeze up. It caused their air tanks to freeze up, and it also caused all that water that they were spraying on the home to freeze immediately. So it was essentially like a skating rink when they were trying to go around and investigate. Well, all right, so sad. Mary, thank you.